Hey guys, it's me again. This time around, I um, thought I'd show you around to some of the things that we built for the improvement of Kalarni. Uh, recently, I showed you Mendev. I went ahead and showed you a tour. It was like 20 minutes long, a tour of this place. And I also showed you the World Guard and World Edit that we've put down. And I'll continue to show the regions that we put down as we go along. But to this time around, I thought I'd like to show you some other stuff. Probably won't get it all in the video this time around, but I'll get as much as I can. And rather than walking everywhere, because that's kind of boring, I'm just going to go ahead and I've set up waypoints. I'm going to teleport to these areas. Uh, I think we'll start at the flying city. So here we are. And keep in mind, this was built somewhat by me. I like built one fourth of it and I got inspiration off of uh, again off of looking at schematics or yeah, schematics and uh, screenshots um, on Google and whatnot so it's not like it was my own idea but I built like one fourth of it and then um, using world edit I copied and pasted it and then rotated around and created a full circle so you'll notice the symmetrical aspect of it all. But uh, yeah, right now we're on the top of the world, and I guess I'll be in creative for this, but uh, you can see that we are actually over an ocean, just in the middle of nowhere. Actually, um, you can see spawn point for Mendev is about to the north, northwest, so it's not too far away, but there's Technically, right now, there is officially no way to get up here unless you're in creative mode. But I do plan on putting, like, a waterfall down that you can swim up or something. But really, all over the area. And it's really symmetrical and really, because I copied and pasted one-fourth of it over and over again. So it's all the same. But we got buildings, houses. Um, there is one spot where I decided to get a little bit creative after copying and pasting. So I put down a fountain. Probably on the other side. I'll show you the fountain, and then we'll go into the palace. There, there it is. There it is. Basically, like the same fountain that's in Mendev. It's right here. So that's really like the only thing that's not copied and pasted all over the place. But. Uh, We'll go into the palace because that's pretty much the only interesting part of this city right now. But here is our palace, very nice and well lit. And go around. And we got an empty block that I didn't bother filling up. So there's that. Here is a little guard area. There's a guard tower up here. You can climb out of it. Just a small little guard tower that overlooks. And it goes around. And there's not much in here because Mayla and I have it decorated. It's a pretty huge expanse. Far bigger than I intended it to be. But it's too cool to knock down the size now so we'll go upstairs to the palace or the slash throne room area got a nice little area right there and then a balcony over the look area and then right down here got a nice little restaurant or outdoorsy area I thought about putting fountains in here but too small Upstairs that have two bookshelves and no beds. So, quite obviously, luxury we're looking right here. So, yeah, this is your, your fallen city or your 
including city. And since we don't have a name for it yet, as well your what you can and can't do. Currently, no way up, as you can see. But that's okay, we'll fix that in a minute. In a bit. Um, so, let's see, what do I want to do before? I'll probably do the pyramids in another, because that's quite a big deal. So, let's go for the last thing. We'll go on over to the Dwarven Fortress. Boom. And then here's our Dwarven Fortress. Again, as you can tell, this place was pretty much copied and pasted. I did not do this over and over and over and over again. And I found pictures online to give me inspiration and whatnot. But this whole place has not been world guarded yet. Mostly because I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get with Mainland on that. Um, but yeah, you come down this long hallway. And here's your main entrance. Um, I put wool blocks and places where I feel like maybe we can expand a little bit. And that's where I haven't put World Guardian because I think maybe what we'll do is we'll probably leave this we'll World Guard this main area but we'll leave these spots open so that non-members can tunnel through and create houses or mining areas or whatnot. Um, and then if you go down here there's the throne room. As you can tell, this, like I said, this place is really just copied and pasted and over and over again rather than building each individual. It's just way easier to do that with World Edit. Okay, right out here, when you come out of the Dwarven Fortress, is a bridge that leads you back to the mainland. Because the Dwarven Fortress is pretty much just an island, and I'll see if I can show that on my map. We'll come out here to the gigantic doors. And there's our bridge. But yeah, this place is just a huge island. And to get here, we created this bridge. Which again, through the powers of world edit. And just copied that and pasted on. It's the exact same thing over and over again. And then I put these in here that lead all the way down to the ocean floor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet, but I got some. I'll plan some. Got the same on the other side. And then we continue with our bridge. Same thing on this side, we got these that go all the way down to the ocean floor. Keeps going. And this isn't well guarded yet either. So and then stairs leading down, grandiose stairs to and then we'll work on a road through here that will eventually lead us out to the desert to voila my pyramids now I only got three of the five pyramids done and I've got maze nether and fire I still need to do whatever that one's gonna be in the main one but I figure I'll show you what we have here and then further East from here, I believe, is Mainland's Desert City that I'll stop at and show you as well. So that concludes what we have what we have done th so far. And in the next episode, I will start showing you these three pyramids. They're not totally done either. I still need to write up a storyline and a dungeon quest and whatnot, but I can show you what I have done since I've had requests to show them as well. So, yeah, that's this episode and I'll see you guys when I do the pyramids. Take it easy.